welcome back to my channel. It's Jeanette coming at you guys with a new video. So today video is going to be a little bit different. Today I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me video. So uh, basically I'm going to be doing my makeup and talking to you guys at the same time. Um, yeah, I really don't know what makeup look I'm going for yet, but as I go through the video, I figure out what look I really want to do. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do lashes and all that, but yeah, like I said, I don't know yet. So we're just going to go with the flow, go with the flow. But yeah, so let's get right into this video. When I do my makeup, I always start off with my eyebrows brush. This Morphe Spoolie, um, the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn, and another LA Girl Pro Concealer in Beautiful Bronze on my brows. This one's going to go on the top, this one is going to go on the bottom, and these are what I'm going to use to get this brow on fleek. So, yeah. get into this and start talking, you know. So, we're going to be talking about signs of how you know somebody is a fake friend. I need to get my brows done but it's gonna work out. Yeah so signs of fake friends. Like have you ever like had that one friend where it's just like friends period. I know a lot of people I know y'all who you watching this video I know you have fake friends before or now or you are gonna come across some fake people most of them are fake so like you have a friend who every time you're getting an argument they always trying to bring up like stuff that you told them before in the past like what do that have to do with what we're arguing about? Why are you bringing up something else that had nothing to do with what we're arguing about? We supposed to be talking about... Okay, so, so for example, y'all arguing over something stupid like a bag of chips or something. And the argument go out, out of proportion. And they start talking about freaking whatever you told them like, oh... That's why you did this. That's why you did that. Like, what did that have to do with what we're talking about? Don't that make you feel like that person was just waiting, like, that one day for something to happen so they could basically throw whatever you told them in your face? Like, that's how I be feeling. Even though I don't tell people my business, because it's not their business. So nobody don't have nothing to say, oh, Jeanette, that's why you did this or that's why you did that. You're not going to be able to say that because you're not going to know what I'm doing, what I'm not doing. But I'm just saying in general, people always do that. Oh, if you're wondering what um, eyebrow pencil I'm using, this one I just got actually. I'm just trying it out. It's the Wet and Wild pencil, the roll-up one. And the first one I was using is the, uh, the name erased, but it's one of these. I got from the beauty supply store. I think it was like a dollar. And this one was $1.89. Yeah, so back to what I was saying. Like they just be waiting for that one day for something to happen so they could throw whatever you told them in your face. Like, seriously, I hate people like that. That's a fake friend. Because at the end of the day, when you and the person do fix whatever problem y'all had or whatever y'all was arguing about, y'all start being cool. Do you really think that person going to want to be your friend again? No, because they're not going to be able to trust you because you already, like, made them to feel like every time they get in an argument. Or they're not going to be wanting to tell you anything anymore because of what you did before. Like, you don't do that. That's females in general. Every time they get in an argument with their friends, they always want to go junk and start talking about who blah, you did this or you did that. Like, who cares? Oh, I'm looking for my brush. I know it's like right in my face. 
Who cares if the person did whatever they did, that's their business. You don't have to bring that up in a conversation that y'all are having about or argument that y'all are having because they have nothing to do with it. Like, it really gets on my nerves when females do that. I don't know if they feel like that's the only way they can get at the person or if they don't have nothing to say or nothing to talk about, then don't just bring up something that you told them. Like, sweetheart, grow up. Then you have the friends who are so all supportive, like, you be doing stuff. You don't. You shouldn't have to ask your friends to support you if you're trying to do something to better yourself, or if you're trying to do something to just do it and see what the outcome is going to be. Like if I have a friend that's doing something and I know it's going to benefit her in the long run, I'ma support her. She don't have to come up and ask me, "Oh, Janet, can you support me? Oh, Janet, can you do this? Oh, Janet, can you do that?" Cause that's your friend. You should know like if your friend is doing something, you should be there to support them. They shouldn't have to ask you to support them before you can make a move. They shouldn't have to ask you to tell people about whatever they're doing in order for you to make a move. It just should be a common sense. Oh, my friend is doing A, Y, Z. So I need to promote her or whatsoever. But nowadays, even your own friend don't want to see you doing nothing. They want to see you down right with them on it cause just because you can't do something and your friend is doing it don't mean you can't support the person just because you don't know how to do it or just because you can't do it. Point blank period. Like, there's no need to be jealous of your friend. How you know when that friend becomes somebody in the future if that friend happens to, like, get famous or whatsoever they're trying to accomplish in how it's going to go how you know they're not going to be like oh yeah this person was there when I was down or this person was there when I was trying when I was trying to work out on what I was working on and pull you along with them why because you was their friend you was the one who was loyal to them the entire time when they was just trying to accomplish what they was trying to get but people don't see it like that. People just see it, oh, she thinks she better than me. Oh, she thinks she could do this. Oh, she thinks she all that. It's not that the person thinks they're all that. It's just the fact the person is trying to make moves. They're not stopping from doing it. Come on now. For example, if somebody's doing hair, if your friend is doing hair, you could do hair. That don't mean you can't go and do hair. You and your friend shouldn't be running a competition. You want to do hair, you do hair. Your friend do hair, she do hair. Just because she doing it doesn't mean you can't do it. But they feel as though, oh, if you doing it and they doing it, who's better and who's not better? It shouldn't be like that. You're being fake. You and your friend can be the best makeup artist. You and your friend can be the best hairstylist. Y'all shouldn't have to run a competition with each other. It's just that simple. But people feel as though if you're doing something, they can do it that you think you're better than them. No, I didn't stop you from doing it. I didn't stop you from getting up and doing, making moves with yourself. None of that. You choose to just sit there and waste your time on nothing. The time you take to sit and talk about what A, B, or C is doing, Take the, how about you take that time to write some stuff down, some goals, some stuff you wanna accomplish in life. How about you do that? then maybe you won't have to worry about somebody thinking they're better than you or not thinking they're not better than you. Which is always not the case, but people just assume if you're doing something good with yourself, you think you're better than them. No, sweetheart, you think I'm better than you. Because you don't want to get up and do nothing with yourself. Don't mean I should sit there and not do nothing with myself. I'm going to get up and make moves. Tommy got... Ain't no time to waste. You ain't got no time to waste. You getting older, life is going on. You gonna be sitting there all day talking about somebody, um, thinking they're better than you. You got a long time, honey. You got a long time. <clears throat> yeah, y'all. I'm just saying like, people don't understand. 
If you could really like find a lawyer friend, that's goals. You and your friend doing stuff like burn, have a business going on. She doing her thing, you doing your thing, and you're living life. No drama. Like that is friendship goals. Like no jealousy, none of that. You support her, she's supporting you. Your yo. This would be a better place if it wasn't no damn haters. Like it's all we gotta be a hater. Your own friend. It could be your best friend, your close friend. Whole time they hating. Keep, keep, keep in your face. No, you're fake. That's why I ain't got that many friends. I can't even count how many friends I got on my finger. Like, seriously. I think my only true friend I have is my boyfriend, basically. That's the only person I talk to that's on a daily, all day, every day. Besides that, I stay in my lane. I stay to myself. If you want to come around, you know where I'm at. If you don't want to come, that's your business. Because you come, you don't come. My life still goes on. I still do what I'm supposed to do. I still do what I keep doing. And I don't care. Before I used to be like, oh, my friend, my friend feel this and my friend feel that. Is. But now, I just don't care. Okay? I don't care. It's other people out here that like me. You don't got to. Whoever. You don't have to. That's your business. I don't have time. For the drama, just gotta do you. You can't please everybody, like you can't please nobody. I know now I'm like all over the place with the conversation, but that's just how it's gonna go now. Like you can't please everybody. You can be the most like, like you can be the most, um, what I'm trying to say friendliest person like you care about people you don't say nothing to nobody you do your own thing you stay in your own way people will still find something to talk about like why can't you just mind your business that's why I be wanting to like say like mind your business sometimes I be wanting to go off on people so bad but I'm like it's not even worth it because at the end of the day, I'm just wasting my breath giving you more to talk about. I ain't going to say nothing back to you, but I'm going to give you something to talk about in a more better way, like doing what I'm doing. And if you have a problem with it, that's your business. I ain't having no sleep this night. I'm sleeping good, eating good, living good, having a good time. I'm happy. What else I gotta worry about? Haters gonna hate. Like they say, if you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. If you got a hater, then you know you're doing something right. Shoot. They can keep sitting in line waiting for me to care because I don't care at all about these fake females. Like. If we all could just come together. I need to moisturize my lip because it's like dry. Oh, I just got this today. It's called Sexy Kiss. It's a lip plump, plumping. Kind of like a lip gloss, but I want to just put some on my lip so it can be moisturized for when I do put my lipstick or whatever on my lips. So yeah, right now I'm actually setting my eye with this Topaz powder that I got from Amazon. These I got from Amazon as well. If you have fake friends or fake people in your life, 
you gotta let them go because sometimes they be the ones holding back your blessing because you be so worried about them or what they say or what they don't say or what they're gonna say to the point where you forget about yourself and I ain't about to let nobody have me forget about myself like if you mad you mad by yourself. Nobody cares. If you wanna hate, keep hating. Nobody cares. That's your business. They hate cause you cute. How you mad cause I'm cute? Baby girl, I made myself. God made me. He gave me to my parents and I came into this world. And I'm happy I look like this. Some people be like, oh, you think you're cute. Some people be like, if she not even cute. She thinks she's cute, but she not even cute. Babe, sweetheart, if you have the time to think and say she's not cute, but she thinks she's cute, then you know I'm cute. Because if you wasn't thinking it, you wouldn't say it. It's okay. You could give a compliment to another female, because I do it. If I see a girl, she's pretty, you're pretty. Why do I have to hate? Unless you have a freaking low self-esteem. Or you don't feel good about your freaking self. It's okay to give compliments. Just because you get another female compliment says she's pretty. Don't mean anything. They ain't going to do nothing to you. Because trust me, there's a lot of other pretty females out here. But like myself. I'm just, oh, I forgot to tell y'all. I'm using this Morphe palette that my sister bought me for my birthday. I love these colors. But I'm gonna be using this green right here. Cause I think I wanna do the green glitter. Like you ever had that one person where you, every time you have something positive to tell them, they just be like, oh, for real? Okay. But girl, so you call and be like, girl, guess what happened? So, so, so did this. Oh, they be all into it. Girl, tell me what da, 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 da. Sweetie, but when I came and told you that I got this AYZ, you wasn't that pumped about it. So why is every time it's something negative, you all in it? Because they don't care. They don't want to hear the good you're doing. Don't they want to hear the bad stuff in Mm-mm. It just make you don't even know like what to say about them. They all want what each other got instead of working on their own stuff. You guys, it's so hard doing your makeup. And trying to focus on what you're talking about at the same time. It's really not as easy as it looks. Or as it seems. So you guys just bear with me if I'm all over the place. But I'm sure you're going to learn like some kind of makeup trick that I'm doing right now. It's this my goal, right? To show you guys what I know. Even though I might not know it all, but what I know I'm gonna teach you. As I learn, I'm gonna teach you. And as you learn, you could teach somebody else. And it goes on and on. If every female could do that, or if we all could work together like that, don't you think the world would be a better place? Because I do. But we can't. I would love to, but hey, if it was up to me, but it's not. So for now, we are just going to stay in our own lane and do our own thing. 
like I'm doing right now. Most of my stuff are like all not Mac and all that hot, high expensive stuff. I just work with what I like. It don't have to cost $20 or $30 or $100. Some of my stuff are MAC, like my eyeshadow palette. The other one is Morphe. Some are Elf. Some are um, Wet n Wild. Some of them are Rare Techniques. Just everything. Whatever works for you or whatever floats your boat, use it. It don't matter how much it costs. What matters is how you apply it and how it turns out. That's what people forget. You don't have to be all expensive and going out your way to get stuff. Once again, just so people can think you got money. Because you know, out here, people run a competition. They don't want to work with their pockets. They want to get stuff and do stuff because they see other people doing it. Knowing that they don't have it like that. You know you don't have it like myself or well, you're not all what you're trying to make it seem like it is out there you need to stop because you ain't doing nothing but hurting yourself because at the end of the day you go home crying broke and the friend who you're trying to big ball with acting like you got it like that they're still spending why are you sitting there thinking about how you're going to pay your bills Y'all need to stop. You have rich people out here eating $2 breakfast every single day. They could go take money and buy all the freaking, they can buy the whole freaking, freaking breakfast place if they want to. But no, they choose to eat what they like and what they know they want to eat not because they have the money so you should just spend it or not because you, you don't have the money but you want to act like you have the money because you see your other friend doing it no don't do that spend your money on something that you know you like don't spend it because you want people to say oh so 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 got this so 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 got that no see me I don't care it don't take a lot for me. The little thing I get, I'm happy with it. I don't need a freaking world. Like, I like what I got. Everything I get, I get it because I like it. I don't get it because it costs this much. I'm not saying I'm not going to like buy expensive stuff. But it's only if I like it or if I want it. I'm just trying to say like, people who want a get stuff because they see other people with it or because they see other people doing it so they want it no sweetie if you don't have it don't push it or else you're going to end up broke stop running competitions with your friends that have it like that and stop walking out here Making the same to people like you got it like that when you don't. Because I know you don't and you know you don't. I'm not talking to nobody. I'm just talking in general. So I'm just saying you, you, you. But I'm just talking in general. Because you know you got to make that clear when you're talking. Because like I said, females. Oh, she was talking about you. No, sweetie, I ain't gonna sit here and make a whole video about you or about whoever. I'm just talking to my YouTube family. Right? We're just having a conversation about stuff. I know, like, I don't know about y'all, but I love my haters. You gotta love your haters. This should motivate you to even do more. Like you hate, the more you hate, the more I'm gonna keep 
Don't want stuff to make you hate. That's what you gotta do. They keep hating. You keep giving them what something to hate about. They gonna get tired. And when they get tired, they gonna hop on the bedwagon. Or they gonna wanna be your friend. You ever had that one person that asks you like, can it be your best friend? Who ask somebody, can it, can you be that best friend? Like, I thought you were supposed to build a friendship and become best friends. You can't just have a, can you be my best friend? Um, no, I don't know, I don't know you like that. Oh, you wanna be my best friend? Cause what? Cause I'm popping. Cause I'm popping. I know I'm popping. It's okay. I have, I have friends. I'm friendly. Like I'm really friendly. I'm nice. I like being friends with people. But don't cross me. Don't cross me. Cause you're gonna get it. I have like now before I used to be the one like try to avoid stuff like that. But now, nope. Same way you bring it, same way we're gonna play it. You try to be hard about it, we're gonna be hard about it. I'm nice, but don't cross me. But make sure you do one thing for me. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I will respond to your comments. when I see them. Hey you guys. I really enjoy making videos for you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying all my videos that I'm putting out there for y'all. Um, yeah. to my face I already primed my face and everything so I'm just gonna go in with my orange corrector Jen from MAC in the color NW47 and my Maybelline New York foundation this one I got from Walmart and it's in the color cocoa and I'm just going to I'm going to use my Rare Technique brush it's the buffing brush and I'm just off my foundation but before I do that I'm gonna spray some setting spray I usually let this stay on for a little bit, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to brush the ashes powder away.
Wild Radiance. Yes! Mmm! What? They ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing now. They couldn't tell me nothing before. Now they're really gonna hate. Remember I told you. Hate is gonna hate, so you gotta give them to something to hate about. Like, you ain't gotta talk. You ain't gotta go on social media whatsoever, wherever you do your thing, to like, tell them nothing or throw shots back. Just slay on them. Give them something good to talk about. Like, oh, she was looking good. Nah, 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 nah. Don't go on it. No, don't scoop down to that level. Give them more to talk about. Because you know they run out of stuff. So you got to keep feeding them with stuff. And you got to feed them the right way. Like slaying on them. Glowing on them. How I, what? Oh, okay. I don't do much talking. I just do this. What you gonna go say? Oh, a holla was popping. Go ahead and say that. That's what you do for some haters. Give them more stuff to talk about. Now I'm gonna set my face with this Elf Setting Spray. I got this from ColourPop. That's my favorite part of the make whole makeup thing is the glow. The glow. So yeah, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. I hope you're here to stay. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The subscribe button is down here. It's in the little red box. It says subscribe. Let me give you a second to hit that. Why are you look at this glow? Okay, so if you are already subscribed to my channel, thank you for coming back. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat, get ready with me video. It wasn't probably, it was, I was like all over the place with my chit chat, but I'm sure you guys liked it. And it is my first chit chat video, so we're going to get there. But. Yeah, I enjoy making this video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy watching it. I hope you learned something from it. And I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.